Hi, my name is Amy. I'm a sales engineer at WebSense and today we're going to be discussing the steps to take when you are having user identification issues. For example, policies not being applied correctly. DC agent finds the domain controllers in your network, then queries the domain controllers for user logon sessions. To find out which domain controllers DC agent has found, you can look at the dc underscore config dot txt file in the WebSense bin directory. So I'm in the WebSense bin directory and I'll open up the dc underscore config file. This dc agent instance has identified two domains. The San Diego domain has two domain controllers and the Beijing domain has one. DC agent queries all domain controllers in the list that are set to on and will ignore any that are set to off. If you can't find this file, the most likely cause is that user service is running on a Linux machine. Other reasons might include permissions problems. So go to support.websense.com for information on how to manually create the DC underscore config file. If any or all domains are missing from the DC underscore config file. First, make sure that NetBIOS is enabled on the DC agent machine and on each domain controller. Next, make sure any internal firewalls or routers that connect subnets or domains permit traffic on TCP port 139 used by NetBIOS. To make sure the DC agent machine can connect the domain controller on port 139, use Telnet. A blank Telnet window indicates success. To make sure the domain controller is listening on port 139, you can use the netstat command. So let's switch over to the domain controller now. So the listing for port 139 should show listening. Then go back over to the DC agent machine and check to make sure that all required domains are visible using the netview command. I hope this information has been useful to you. If the steps we've gone through don't solve your problem, please go to support.websense.com for more troubleshooting information.